thank people who have done amazing things to change how others live. Unfortunately, not all heroes are treated equally. We are sure you will be surprised by these 10 unsung heroes of history. Number 10. John R. Fox was an American soldier in World War II. He died and now he's a hero because he called for an airstrike. He called for an airstrike in his own location because he known the enemies which were Germans were swarming all over the place and the only way to stop them was to bomb them with his act of giving up his own life giving the allies to do a better to do a counterattack on the Nazis number nine senior master surgeon Doug Weiner he's a man who has earned one of the most uh, uh, prestigious medals in the American military. The distinguished, the distinguished flight cross. He flew 25 missions in Afghanistan, uh, during which him and two other pararescue men rescued 19 wounded soldiers. They showed the courage to infiltrate and and exfiltrate soldiers from heavy fire from terrorists. Number eight. Dr. Beck and Coffee, an everyday hero whose action has personality impacted hundreds, if not thousands, of people's lives. A Hartford and Oxford graduate, Dr. Beck and Coffee is a specialist in infectious diseases and has worked worked in Haiti since the earthquake in 2010. She established a new sanatorium in the capital of Haiti, Port-au-Prince. She still works there without any pay and taking public transfer to work. Number seven, Irina Sandler, an an unfilling an unfamiliar hero to most people, but Irina <clears throat> defied the Nazis and saved 2,500 Jewish children by smuggling them out of the Warsaw Ghetto. As a health worker, she sneaked the children out between 1932 to 1943 to save hiding places and provided them with false identity documents and found the non-Jewish families to adopt them. Number 6. Alan Turing. The persecuted and pardoned that uh, Alan Turing was the great mind who broke the Germans' Enigma code in World War II and developed a modern computing. From the iPad to Facebook, much of the tech we use today can be traced back to Turing's genius. The creation of the Turing machine is widely regarded to be the foundation of theories of computation. Number five. Rick Ronson. When the first planes uh, crashed down the first tower of the two World Trade Centers, Wrecker heard the crash and saw the burning windows of his office. When the Port Authority announcement came to PA system, urging people to stay at their desk, Orla ignored the announcement and began to order Morgan Stanley employees to evacuate, which was successful. After, he went back to save another employees from the fire. 
Number four. Four. Nikola Tesla, the guy invented altering a good, altering the magic that happens behind every socket. It's the electrical system that runs every house on the planet. Planet. Hold on, planet. It makes your life possible by saving your phone from dying. Tesla revolutionized how humans can function, and yet every day his work is taken for granted. Number three. Um, James Harrison has magical blood which contains extremely rare enzyme that can be used to treat babies dying from atherous disease. If you never heard of that disease, and it's not a big deal. Well, let's just wait for the numbers. Ever since being a generous type, he native his life saving uh, blood roughly a thousand times over 56 years. It saved the lives of 2.4 million babies worldwide, and he earned the nickname The Man with the Golden Arm. Number two, Zui Aksenovich was a Soviet officer an officer during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Surrounded by 11 U.S. destroyers at the aircraft carrier USS Rodolf, his submarine was eventually subjected to barrage of depth charges. The captain ordered the B-59's nuclear-tipped missile be, be launched in, re in relation to the U.S. surface ships. Arkhanov didn't give his permission. He used the missile, eventually persuading the two other deciding officers to surface and escape the uh, the Sioux's destruction. He prevented he prevented to, to launch a nuke to prevent the nuclear war. Number one. Ali Yuna was a Swiss businessman and a college dropout who found himself in the Second Italian War of Independence in the 1859 business struck. Tuna transformed an entire town into an enormous army hospital and he provided the assistance for the wounded. Regardless of their nationality, he wrote all about it in the memory of Solferino, the book which inspired the Red Cross. Thanks for watching and subscribe to be surprised. A 